my track album battle brought to you by King Dinosaur. And he wants me to put the first Overkill album, Feel the Fire, versus Metal Church, The Dark. Yeah, I bought Feel the Fire when it was brand new. And believe it or not, I bought The Dark when it was brand new. It was the first CD I ever bought in my life when it was brand new. I bought Metal Church, The Dark, Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced, and Led Zeppelin 2. And I think each CD was like 25 bucks. Like something crazy at 30 bucks. And I spent like almost 100 bucks on three CDs. And that was the going rate of compact discs when they were new. And compact discs, I later found out, took $1 to make. I mean, back then, probably, of course, it's cheaper now. For one dollar back then and they would charge like 30 bucks for it that's why karma exists karma came and all those record company weasels that would rape us in record stores they got theirs all right okay enough of that let's get this started i love both albums by the way if i had to pick which one i like more i think i'd give the nod to feel the fire but man the dark is a badass album and we start with Raise the Dead versus a Ton of Bricks. Uh, lull them both, but this one's easy. Ton of Bricks. Easily Ton of Bricks. Next, Rock to the Core versus Start the Fire. Again, two killer tracks, but I gotta go with Start the Fire, man. That's a metallic anthem. Love it. All right, There's No Tomorrow versus Methods to Your Madness. Methods to Your Madness is killer, but no, I'm going with Overkill on this one there's to no tomorrow i love how it's fast and heavy and then gets a little doomy during it good stuff man overkill gets that one next second son versus let the children pray gotta go with metal church that let the children pray it's so eerie and yet so metal those ribs awesome tune all right next hammerhead versus over my dead body Dude, Over My Dead Body is like my third favorite song on here, but it loses to Hammerhead. Let me tell you how much I love Hammerhead. My band Thrasher Die did a cover of Hammerhead, and we got Bobby Gustafson, the original guitar player of Overkill, to play the solo on it. Bobby lives down here. He's a buddy of mine. I asked him a favor. I said, dude, we recorded Hammerhead. Want to do a solo? And he said, yes. So stick around at the end of the video. I'll tack it on so you can hear it. All right, I'm going with Hammer. Next, Feel the Fire versus the Dark. Uh, two title tracks going against each other. Two Titans uh, title tracks. But you know what, man? I got to go with Overkill. Higher, higher, feel the fire. She burns at the stake like a witch. Love it. All right, next, Blood and Iron versus Psycho. Both these songs rip. But Blood and Iron gets my vote on that one, man. All right, next. Killer Command versus Line of Death. I'm going with Line of Death. They're both great, but Line of Death's one of my favorites on here as well. All right, then we got the song Overkill versus Burial at Sea, which I got to go with Overkill. God, I love the hell out of that song. What a great tune. All right, then there's that bonus track, Sonic Reducer. From the Dead Boys they did. And that's going against Western Alliance. Which is, yeah, it's one of my favorites on it. Definitely giving that one to Metal Church. So, King Dinosaur. This is the final score. And it's a tie. Because both albums rule. 5-5 five, five each. Love it. What do you all think? I hope you enjoyed this, King Dinosaur. And everybody out there, what do you think? Leave it in the comments below. The Feel the Fire from Overkill versus Metal Church the Dark. Please stick around after my thank yous and my sign off to hear uh, my band Thrasher Die do Hammerhead with Bobby Gustafson playing lead guitar on it. And thank you again, King Dinosaur. And thank you everybody out there watching right now. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Ring that little notification bell. I would really appreciate that. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob.